you ever found that the more helpless you feel, the more hopeless you feel? A few years ago, we went on a week-long camping trip as a family with our 28-foot-long camper. Our destination was a beautiful mountain lake, and it was about a nine-hour drive from where our home is. My husband and I had all four of our boys piled into his truck with stuff crammed in every crevice. We've been on the road for about six hours and we're needing to stop soon to fuel up our truck with gas. Upon approaching the town where we would stop to get gas, my husband, ever hopeful, said, we can make it to the gas station on the other side of town easily. As someone who prefers to play things safe, I said, are you sure? Let's just stop and get gas now. No, no, we'll be fine, he said. To make a long story short, we entered into a very busy roundabout during five o'clock traffic with a 28 foot long camper and completely ran out of gas in the middle of the roundabout. Traffic was backed up, people were getting mad, our kids started to freak out. I felt helpless and for a moment hopeless. How the heck were we going to get this huge trailer out of this roundabout? Thankfully, my husband did something absolutely beautiful. He took ownership and he began to make a plan. He found that the gas station wasn't far from us at all, just 200 feet. He waved some kind people down who had some extra gas tanks that we were able to fill up and put in our truck to give us just enough fuel to pull into the gas station. He graciously waved at all the angry drivers and thanked them for their patience. And he had a good laugh. He took ownership first in small ways that snowballed into bigger ways. He chose hope and improved our situation. I know this is a lighthearted example of how to turn a helpless situation into a hopeful situation, but these same principles apply in life. At any given moment, I have a choice. I can choose to see all that is going wrong, become helpless and as a result, hopeless, or I can take ownership, choose hope, make a plan and move forward. This choice feels risky it requires honesty and acceptance of my current situation. We couldn't be in denial about the fact that we were stuck in the middle of a roundabout with a camper and four kids. It takes courage to take ownership and make a plan. I'm sure my husband felt a little foolish leaving his camper and asking complete strangers if they had a gas tank he could borrow. It can be risky to hope. What if we weren't able to get the camper out of the roundabout on our own and cause a huge traffic debacle? It takes strength to move forward. We couldn't wait for the perfect plan. We just had to act on a plan.